Drones of the security service of Ukraine struck a fuel and lubricants depot of Russia. These facilities processed and stored raw materials and finished products, which were later used for the needs of the Russian army. After a series of drone strikes by the security service of Ukraine all facilities, fires broke out. According to Russia's defense ministry, air defense shot down six drones over the Republic of Adygea in the Caucasus Mountains, three over Bryansk Oblast, three over Krasnodar Krai, one over Rostov Oblast, one over Belgorod Oblast, and one over Oryol Oblast. Ukrainian drone attack in southern Russia's Krasnodar region has killed a woman, local authorities said, as other drone strikes across the country set several oil depots ablaze. Marat Kumpalov, head of the Republic of Adygea, claimed that the drone attack started a fire at an oil depot in the village of Enyum. The fire covered an area of about 400 square meters. An oil tank also caught fire after an explosion on the territory of the Platonovskaya oil depot in Tombov Oblast, according to regional head Maxim Yegorov. The incident was allegedly caused by an unmanned aerial vehicle, Yegorov said. Wreckage of the drone was also reportedly found in the region's Pervomaisky municipal district. Russian telegram channels shared videos showing burning oil depots and rising smoke. No casualties were reported. The drone strikes help reduce the resources that Russia can use to wage war, as Russia is also forced to spend money on restoring its own infrastructure, which puts additional pressure on its budget, already burdened by sanctions restrictions. In total, drones of security service of Ukraine have already carried out nearly three dozen successful attacks on Russian oil facilities throughout the country. The Russian leadership takes more care of the equipment, because it is expensive, and it throws soldiers at the meat storms, so the situation in Volchensk has turned into an infantry battle," reports Forbes. The publication notes that a little more than a month after the beginning of the Russian offensive on Kharkiv region, the battlefield in Volchensk and around it became extremely dangerous for Russian armored vehicles. Therefore, only the Russian infantry goes into battle and dies in colossal numbers as a result of the successful work of Ukrainian drones and artillery. Unfortunately, this bloodshed does not herald the inevitable end of a wide war. Every month, the Kremlin recruits and conducts superficial training of about 30,000 new soldiers, just enough to have such large losses every month. Therefore, even when Russians die in shocking numbers in Volchensk and other cities, the Russian army continues to replenish existing divisions and even form new ones, the article says. Thus, the operator of the drone of the Ukrainian Marines from the 82nd Amphibious Assault Brigade, which is now located in Volchensk, said that despite the difficult situation for the invaders, they are preparing new forces for future offensives, and the number of dead and wounded is not an indicator for the Russian Federation. He added that today Volchensk is a killing field for Russian infantry. According to him, they have armored vehicles that are ideal for fighting in the city, but they don't use them. In fact, this has a distorted meaning, especially for Russian commanders who do not value the lives of their soldiers very much, and put armored vehicles first, the publication noted. In the material, they recalled that during the full-scale war, the Russian military lost about 4,000 armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. According to analysts, this is about 150 units per month. At the same time, the losses of Ukraine are significantly less, about 1,000 BTRs and BMPs since February 24, 2022. This is approximately 30 units of equipment per month.
Thank you.